Hi guys, how are we today? I've got here the uh, a new little Makita uh, 18 volt chainsaw that I've just purchased. Um, I've got this one for just little jobs around the uh, the house, and uh, also for when I go camping. I uh, wanted a really light, little compact chainsaw for doing that. Um, so what we've got here is the Makita DUC 254Z 18 volt brushless chainsaw. And uh, this is their little baby one, um, so it's, it's quite light. Uh, just really quickly, the, um, a lot of people probably don't always think of Makita for, for garden tools, but perhaps they should because uh, I don't think a lot of people know that they bought a German company back in 1991 called Dolma, uh, and they have a very rich history with uh, the creation actually of the chainsaw. So they uh, have a lot of expertise in that area that what they got when they purchased that business and they still operate that business I believe in Germany uh, but also um, have incorporated obviously the newer technologies of battery and that into it as well probably from the Makita side but uh, if you do look at a lot of um, reviews uh, I think you'll see that Makita with their yard tools are up there they're, they're rated quite highly and I think that's part of the reason for it is because of the history so that's just a little interesting tip bit that I found out uh, whilst researching on the Makita products and I think it's, uh, it, it's, it's a good point to sort of bring out that they've, they have got a bit of history in, in making chainsaws and they're not a company that's just suddenly decided to make a chainsaw. But anyway, I'll unbox this now, I'll put it together and um, we'll just, uh, I'll give you a quick look at it. So just with the, the unboxing, um, I'll just open this up, it's just a simple box, as so we can see in there just got a, our, our Makita there, there's a bit of brochure and that in there, I'll just open it up a bit more. So that's our, our little Makita unit there, uh, I'll just put that down. We've got our um, instructions, warranty card and that in there. A little bag here with a little spanner. Um, it's got a Oregon uh, chain that comes with it, what's good to see. And that's our cat. <laughs> and uh, that's just a little, the little end guard there that screws onto the base. Um, this is the, uh, the, uh, the bar. So that's wrapped up there in, in paper and the, uh, the, the protector to go around that. So we'll put that on in a sec. And oh, and they give you a little duffel bag as well. Look at that. A little Makita duffel bag to put it all in. What's well, really cool. So yeah, and that's all that seems to be in there. So yeah. All right, we'll put that together and we'll show you what it looks like complete. Okay guys, just uh, recording my voice here uh, in post-production because unfortunately we lost the audio for this part of the video. Um, what I was just showing here was the actual saw complete. So as you can see, it's quite small and compact with the, uh, the blade. And I was just going over a couple of the key features and the, the specs. Um, so I'll just do that quickly here. Um, the chain, as we know, is a, a 10 inch or 250 millimeter uh, blade on this one. Um, Makita has it rated at uh, a speed of 1,440 meters a minute for the um, chain speed. The Makita also f features what they call a torque boost mode. Um, this is to allow you to get a, a more powerful cut. It's designed to sort of be used as a one-off as uh, it will pretty well deplete the charge of your battery quite quickly I've been told. I haven't used it but uh, it's designed to sort of just get you through a larger uh, piece of timber in a sort of like an emergency type situation uh, but it does have that feature. Um, it's rated at 69 decibel for the noise level. Um, it's quiet uh, as far as a chainsaw goes. You will hear noise obviously uh, with the chain and also the motor. You will see that and hear that I should say later in some of the other videos that we have and um, it has an oil reservoir too it does use oil for the chain uh, that oil reservoir is 140 milliliters uh, capacity so it's not very big but uh, it doesn't really need to be um, the other key thing is that it uh, you can adjust that oil flow from the for the chain what I think is really good um, so you can increase it or decrease it and the skin only weighs 2.7 kilograms. This is what I have here in the video. Uh, with a battery, it's rated at 3.3 kilograms, but obviously this will depend on the battery you use. In the video, I use a four amp hour battery, 
but uh, you can get up to a six amp hour battery for the Makitas. And obviously if you go a six amp hour, it's gonna weigh a little bit more than what the four amp hour does. But uh, yeah, um, just a quick side note. There is another Makita saw, it's very similar to this in bar size, but it's a twin battery one where this is a single 18 volt battery. The twin battery one is rated at 36 volt and it is obviously a more powerful uh, saw than this one. This one is their baby compact one. Uh, if you're wanting more power, you would probably want to look at the 36 volt range that they have on offer. But uh, this is purely for really just cutting up small branches around the house and taking away camping uh, just to do a bit of firewood, but I think it'll do very well. Okay guys, we're out here. I've just got my little uh, Makita here and I've got some um, just some steel uh, oil for the chain. So we'll just show you how to put that in. Um, Basically, just open the reservoir. I haven't got the battery in the moment, so that'll be good for safety. And we'll just get the oil, and we'll just put that in. Okay. That's all in there. And we've got a little oil reservoir, as you can see, it's just up past halfway there. So that gives you an idea of how much oil. I'll just put the lid back on this. Yeah. I've just got the little four amp hour I'll put in, so it just slides into the back like so. So as you can see, it just sits in there. I'll take this off, just place the cover over here. And I'll just see, it's got a little green light to just let you know that it's on. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We've got a little green light and there we go, it's on, and pull that back, there we go, so the safety was on, if you just push forward, as you can see it won't work, pull it back, and it's now switched off, it'll work, now a little tip, we want to see if we've got oil coming out of our chain, so it has got a little adjuster as we mentioned before, so we'll just go, now we probably just see on the base of this tree maybe, if it's getting some oil, We really need a bit more, so I might just go get my, my adjuster. I'll be back in a second and we'll just adjust that. So yeah, I've just um, adjusted it. Basically, it's just a quarter turn. That way is fully off, that way is fully open. So I've only just adjusted the slightest little bit. And I'll just turn it on. Now, a great way to test it is get your paper, make sure your hands are away. And if you just hold it there, you can see the oil that's come out on the, um, the paper. That'll give you a good indication of how much oil's coming out through the actual chain. And that's a great way to adjust it and make sure you've got enough coming out. I'll pick that up later. What we'll do, I'm just gonna try and take off some of these little fiddly ones at the moment. We'll just have a look and see how good and easy they are to take off. Just touching them and they're coming off. It's fantastic. We're actually putting a new fence in here, so I'm just going to clean off this side a little bit of this tree. As you can see, that's pretty simple, but of course they're only small. I might go over here and we'll cut a bit more timber, what's a bit uh, thicker, and we'll see how it goes on that. All right, guys, we've gone from the smallest of twigs to the biggest of trees, but we'll see how it handles the other end of the spectrum. This is a bit of old timber I just want to cut up ready for the fire, so I'll just see how it goes. Um, as I say, it's only got a four amp hour too, so I'm not sure how it'll go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm pretty impressed by that. 
that's hardwood too and um, that's cut through that pretty well so it's not the um, thickest but it's definitely um, it's definitely hard so that's fairly impressive I'll just keep going ahead and cutting this up I think the trick is to try and let it go through and cut itself and not try and force it too much. I could feel like if I pushed it too much it may want it to cut out but uh, if you let it do it at its own pace it seems to get through it pretty good. So yeah, really happy with that. Very impressive. Alright, well as you can see we've cut all this up now down here. It's done a fantastic job. Still on the 4 amp hour battery. We'll just check its status. It's had half charge. So it's going to go through the batteries a little bit if you're doing bigger cuts like this. Um, but uh, look, we've done one, two, about ten cuts. So that's pretty impressive. We're just going to try it on this old bit of timber we've got here. I just want to see how it goes. So we'll just see if it'll, if it'll do it. so about the uh, bit over the blade uh, with there but uh, this is old uh, I think it's probably old iron bark it's, it's really tough old timber this so the fact that it's even doing that is to me pretty impressive um, it's still on two bars the battery is starting to get quite warm but um, yeah I think I think this is probably getting a little bit too big for it but uh, look if you really needed to get through it uh, you'd get through it anyway um, I think that'll do for uh, talking about the cutting of it and that. It's it's really a good little unit. Um, I'm impressed. Um, even though it's having trouble with this bigger piece, um, the fact that it'll go through those smaller pieces really well is very impressive. Uh, that timber down there is a hard timber and it's it's not um, it's not the easiest to cut through and yet it did it. This is probably the hardest you'll get. So yeah, good little unit. Really recommended.